Welcome back. It's time once again to check in with our friends from the Better Business Bureau of Southeast Texas. This week we're joined by Jay Shepard. Jay, thanks for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Kind of talking about sort of a creepy, yes. <laughs> a creepy topic. It's still vacation season, even though uh, we're about to start school. But you've noticed a number, an increased number of complaints in something in particular. Yes, we've seen an increase in complaints regarding bed bugs. I mean, wow. hotels, apartments, you know, just pretty much across the board. And you not not an outbreak. I don't want to scare anybody. Right. But we've, you know, we've definitely definite see, seen an increase, yes. What are some things that we need to know um, to protect ourselves when dealing well, with this? Well, when you're traveling, when you're at a hotel, you know, the first thing you want to do is go in and relax, lay down on the bed. Well, before you do that, check the bed. Lift up the bed coverings, look at the mattress, make sure you don't see any little bugs right there in the crevices. Just you know, take precautions and, and check. You can check around the, I mean, you don't have to go crazy, but go ahead and check. The bed bugs are small, but they're not so small that you can't see them. Okay, So and so they're usually in the lining or along the it, That's the exactly right, exactly. Um, they're about the size of an apple seed, so, and they're kind of a rust color, but you know, check your bedding, make sure you don't see any. If you do see some, notify the hotel right away. You'll want to move. <laughs> okay, and where, where will you want to move if, if they're going to move you? Well, some precautions with that. because they hitch rides, that's the way bed, bed bugs travel. They don't fly, but they do, they can get on a, you know, a, a cart, get on luggage. You want to make sure that you move to a room that's not adjacent to the room that you found the bed bugs in, and maybe not right below it either. They can even travel through electrical sockets. So you want to make sure you, if you, if you have bed bugs in your room, you want to move to a room that's way far away from that room. Right, and then of course check that room too. Absolutely. <laughs> so once, yes, once and, you're in another, and ask about their policy. You maybe do a refund okay. if, if you, you know, if you if you stayed there for the night and then you find them that that type of thing. So you definitely want to check. Okay. Well, in addition to to looking. We we also have all of our stuff in there, so we have to make sure that's okay too, right? That's exactly right. Avoid putting your luggage right on the floor or on the bed. Use the rack that's you know that's generally provided, or you know if in, if you really want to be careful, put your luggage in a bag. Okay, and then once we've made those precautions, we do have to leave at some point, so we don't want to take those bugs with us. No, you don't want to bring it. bed bugs home with you. So when you get home, uh, you know they suggest vacuuming your suitcase or even if you have a steam cleaner because heat will kill the the uh, the bugs so if you'll take a steamer and steam your steam your luggage and wash everything in your you know all your clothes even the ones you did not wear go ahead and wash them in hot water just to be you know extra well, safe you never can be too careful that's true all right thanks so much Jay, for being here with us of course people can uh, find out these tips on the website right and I do want to bring up one other thing many people like to go to garage sales and buy secondhand furniture some people even buy secondhand mattresses you want to be absolutely certain you check furniture couches you know if you buy a mattress Absolutely check that before yeah. you bring that into your house because yeah. that's a good way to get bed bugs. It may not be that good of a deal. It may not be. <laughs> it may right. not be. Thanks, Jay. Thank you.